Fargo's best wrestlers headed east to wrestle in the state tournament inside the Fargo Dome today. Fans and wrestlers alike packed themselves into the venue, eager to see what the first day of competition holds. We start off here in the 152 bout. It's Colin Parison from Turtle Mountain against Nolan Brandvold from Grand Forks Red River. Parison, he's going to hold on tight for a pin. And after two minutes, Parison moves on. It was a big win for him on the day. At the 132 pound match, we have four seed Brody Furterer from Bismarck Century up against Owen Magnall from West Fargo. After trailing early, Furterer goes on a wild run and ultimately wins in a 9 2 decision. Over in the 106 bracket, we have five seed Grady Iverson from Century against Jake Glasser from Dickinson. How about that takedown from Glasser? He nags a big upset over the five seed Patriot, and he is moving on. Last but not least, the girls bracket. Minot's Haley Carr on Josetta Buffalo Boy from Sanding Rock. The five seeded Magi is advancing to the next round after that. After beating, Halen, after beating Hazen Beulah by 13 goals in a West Region Tournament play-in game on Monday, the Demons took to the ice tonight against the number two seed Legacy with a trip to the semifinals on the line. Legacy won when these teams faced off in early January. They wasted no time getting on the board here. Gage Martell, the sophomore defenseman, snipes one from the left corner. His day wasn't done, though. It was a big day for him. Just minutes later, tic-tac-toe on the break. Martell is the final piece of the puzzle. He gets his second of the period to go through. It's 2-0 Legacy early. The Demons would get one back in the first 17 minutes. Carson Sebastian puts a shot on, collects his own rebound, and gets it from the crease. After one, it was 2-1 to one Sabres. The Sabres, they would hold off the Demons 4-1 to one in advance to the semifinals. Century, number three in the tournament, they took on Dickinson, number six, in the quarterfinals. Century's TJ Olsen, he's going to tie up a defender in the corner, and the puck's going to come loose to Caden Ronis, who puts it top of the shelf. The Patriots are up a goal. Still in the first, on a breakaway, Ben Leduc connects with Andrew Brubachin. It gets it through, and it's 2-0 game in favor of the Patriots. It could, have met, could not have been much worse for Bryce Catermus between the pipes. Here he sees three really good chances and keeps them all out to keep the score at two. The Patriots, they shut out Dickinson 4-0, and they'll advance to the semifinals as well. Here's a look at the other scores from the matchups today. The number one seed Minot beat Botno Rugby 6-2, and last year's champions beat number five Mandan with the same score. In high school basketball, Linton HMB's boys team, they won at home. Trin Trinity wins by 14 on the road. Beulah loses by 10 at home, and the Troopers, they win by three. Bowman County beats Beach by 6, and the Hawks, they lose by 13. In the Region 4 tournament play-in game, Harvey Wells County topped Dunseeth, earning them a spot in the next round. In girls basketball, Class A, the Magi, they took care of business against Dickinson, and the Bearcats, Class B, they won on the road. Tonight, U Mary's women's basketball team took the floor in hopes of finishing the NSIC regular season strong. With a win tonight and a win on the road Saturday, the Marauders would claim a first-round bye to the conference quarterfinals. A loss in either game would see them host a Northern Sun first-round playoff game. The Marauders, they beat the Wolves by 13 in December. Early in this one, the Wolves, they were up front, and they get the first basket, and then the second basket, too. Laurie Rogers, she hits the deep two, and it's 4-0 Wolves. Marauders, they start to find their footing, though, and Megan Zander, she's at the top of the key and connects on the deep ball. It's 8-6 Marauders now. Megan Zander, she's going to have it again, and she's going to shoot again, and she's going to score again. It's another three for her. She made three threes on three consecutive possessions. She came to play tonight, and she had the Marauders' first 11 points. But the Marauders, they can't get it done, and they lose by one. And other, you Mary's men's basketball team, they lost by Northern, lost to Northern State. And the Wildcats, they beat the Mystics by 22. The Blue Hawks win by 30, and the Bison, they win by 11. Oral Roberts won by three. In women's basketball, the Marauders, again, they lost by one. And the Mystics, they lost by 12 today. The Blue Hawks won at home, and the Bison, they won by 11. UND's women's basketball team, they won in a shootout.